For this video chart interpretation, we have selected Lacey's chart. All those open circles are due to Lacey waking up at different times because she works shifts and wakes up for work on weekends at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes it's difficult to see a clear pattern when it's not possible to wake up close to the same time every day. But Lacey's chart is actually quite clear and easy to read this cycle, in spite of the inconsistent waking time. This is partly because she has taken care to observe her non-temperature signs, which show her cervical fluid and OPK clearly matching up, and she keeps taking her temperature when she wakes up, even if it's not possible to be consistent. If Lacey were only looking at her temperature, she may have taken those higher temperatures on cycle days 11 and 12 to indicate possible ovulation, but they were not accompanied by any other signs of fertility, and her temperature did not stay elevated. On Lacey's chart, ovulation can be detected for cycle day 18, the day after a positive OPK, the last day of fertile cervical fluid, and the day before her temperature rises. Even with the shift work, this is pretty close to a textbook or ideal pattern. Lacey has also managed to time intercourse perfectly this cycle for the day before and the day of ovulation. Unfortunately, Lacey did not conceive this cycle. Lacey's luteal phase length, the time between ovulation and her period, is just 10 days long, which may be on the short side. This is something to mention to her doctor if she does not get pregnant in a few more cycles with well-timed intercourse. Best wishes to Lacey.